Hi everyone, Natalie Jill. Are we ready to do legs and glutes today? Today that's what we're focusing on. We're working on the butt thigh. That's that area between the butt and the thigh that everyone always asks me about. How do we get rid of that? What do we do to change that? We're gonna work hamstrings, we're gonna work glutes, and we're gonna work inner and outer thighs, which changes the appearance of your legs. And we're gonna work towards being happy, healthy, and fit. So grab a stability ball if you wanna do this with me. Otherwise, you can watch and you can try it later at the gym. Or you can pick up one of these. They're pretty inexpensive. You can get them at most sporting goods stores. So we're gonna start on our back, concentrating on that hamstring first, tacking the thigh. We're tacking the thigh today. That's what we're doing. Ready? Come over onto your back. Legs up on the ball, here. Everything's gonna stay tight in that core, in that center, in those abs. Palms down to the ground. We're gonna lift up, squeeze. And you'll even feel just from lifting up there, you're engaging it. You're gonna feel a tighter squeeze. And we're gonna slowly curl back here, dragging those heels inward, working those hamstrings. Are you ready? Okay, join me. Put your legs up, squeeze in and roll it out, really slow and controlled. Squeeze in and out. And you should really feel this on your hamstrings pretty quickly. In and out. If you're feeling super strong and powerful, you can lift up one leg and do it just with one. Make it a lot more challenging. I'm gonna keep two legs here. Just dragging that heel back towards your butt. And you just don't wanna sink down here. Stay up, and now slow movement here. Now, if you're looking at my ball here that I'm dragging under, you might notice that there's some sand in there, and people always say, what is that sand in that ball? And how'd you get it in there? First of all, I didn't put the sand in there, it came in there, so I wasn't sitting there this morning pumping sand in my stability ball. And um, it's really just to help it from not rolling away when you're not using it. It doesn't help it not move, it just, it makes it so it doesn't roll away when you're not using it. Okay, it also adds a little bit of weight to it, tiny bit. All right, last one here. Good job, how are you feeling? Oh, stretch that out. That works the hamstrings, and ultimately the thigh that we're attacking. Okay, we're gonna place our feet up on the ball, and we're gonna go after the glutes here. It looks like this, lifting up, squeeze, and lowering it. Are you ready? Okay, bring it up, squeeze, bring it back down. And you'll still feel this in those hamstrings, but also in those glutes here. Squeeze, and the same thing if you wanna challenge yourself more, you can lift up one of the legs and do it just with one. It'll make it a lot harder. Up. Now, you can do these without a stability ball. You can do them just on the floor or the mat. But the stability ball, because it's challenging your balance, it's working all of those tiny muscles, all those supporting muscles and fibers, and helping you to become functionally fit. Last two. Squeeze. Last one. Whew. Nice job, shake it out. How are you feeling? Feel like you're attacking the thigh? See what happens there, if you can develop those hamstrings, you can develop those glutes, and if we lose overall body fat, you're gonna get that definition that everybody wants, and we've attacked the thigh then. <laughs> Moving on to inner thighs, you're gonna put your legs around the ball here, and this is just a slight squeeze in. Now here, you wanna make sure you're tucking your pelvis under, and your lower back is flat into the ground, so your abs are engaged, we're getting a bit of an ab and a core workout too, and we're just squeezing that ball. Little pulses, in and out. Squeeze. How are we doing? I can't see if you're working. Well, I wouldn't be able to see you anyway because I'm over here and you're over there, but you can cheat on this one, and I don't want you to cheat. So make sure you're squeezing in, pushing those legs together, because just watching me or not doing anything is not gonna change things. Squeeze in. A few more. Little pulses. Okay, now I want you to squeeze as hard as you can and hold it, hold it, squeeze. Make it burn in those inner thighs. Hold. A few more seconds. 
Breathe. <sighs> Let go. How are we feeling? All right, we're moving on to the last exercise here, and this one's gonna get your lower abs and those inner thighs. You squeeze it here, and you're gonna lift it up slowly and back down. Okay, so we're doing a double whammy exercise here. Inner thighs and a little bit of abs. Ready? Squeeze it up. 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 Little pulses. Breathe through it. Last two. Nice job, drop it down. Whew, how are you feeling? Good job, everyone. See, there you have it, four exercises done with a stability ball, attacking the thigh. We've worked core, abs, inner thighs, glutes, hamstrings, and we're after attacking the thigh. Nice job, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Let me know down below, comment. Let me know if you tried it, what'd you think? What other workouts do you wanna see with me on Be Happy, Be Healthy, Be Fit?